Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brief story time for climate champions like you. Before we begin, I want to acknowledge that the Tigard Public Library is located on Tualatin Kalapuya, or Atvalati, land. We express our respect for all Indigenous people and their important con connections they have to their homelands across Oregon and throughout the world. And we're going to say a little affirmation about being stewards of the land and stewards of the planet. Um, for this information, you are going to want to make a big circle with your arms above your head, like you're holding the whole planet on your shoulders. And you're going to reach down and touch the floor. Did you do it? Excellent. And you're going to reach around yourself and give yourself a big hug. And it goes like this. We are caregivers of the earth. We are gentle on this land. We are kind to all people. Let me introduce to you the Climate Champions. This is a volunteer group of teens in Taggart who um, are helping us all take better care of the planet. Um, Gracie, go ahead and get started. Hi, my name is Gracie and I use she, her pronouns. Ellery? Um, I'm Ellery and I use she, her pronouns as well. And Oishiki. Hi, I'm Oishiki, I use she, her pronouns. And Grace. Hello everyone, my name is Grace, but I, I use she, her pronouns, but I also use he, him pronouns as well. Thank you, everyone. And my name is Lisa. I use she, her program, pronouns. And I am going to ask Grace to read a beautiful story for us. Hello, friends. Today, I will be reading What a Wonderful World, based on the song by George Thiel and George David Weiss, as sung by Louis Armstrong. What a wonderful world. I see trees of green. Red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and the clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Any climate tips? I know that a climate tip is that you should, when you go to the store, try to use reusable bags and not necessarily paper or plastic. Another climate tip is making sure that you close your lights as well as closing your faucet after you're done using it to save energy and save water. 
one important climate tip is to make sure that we can recycle. We can recycle in most public places, but also we can do this in our own households. Some things that can be recycled include paper. This can be any kind of office paper, magazines, newspapers, and any kind of junk mail. Also, juice and milk cartons can be recycled, as well as steel, tin, and aluminum cans, and also various kinds of cardboard. And another great tip and a way to, you can connect with the world outside is if at all possible, you can ride your bike or you can walk to places if they're near your house. And it's a great way to connect with the outside world and also reduce carbon emissions that are um, emitted from cars. Thank you so much, Ellery and everybody. Um, in the last half of April, you could stop by the library and you can pick up a kit um, filled with supplies to make a seed bomb. That is a ball of mud and clay and seeds that you can launch into a place that needs a little bit of green. And uh, wildflowers will grow and bloom and attract pollinators um, to help pollinate the plants we need to breathe and eat and enjoy. Um, so please stop by the library, pick up one of those kits, and thank you for, so very much for joining our climate story time. Bye.